Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Quick Break Games, and today we're going to be talking all about Funko Fusion and sort of recapping all of the official news that we've gotten so far here in early 2024. So whether you haven't heard of this game at all or maybe you haven't been keeping up with all the news, we're going to be going over everything here in this video. Alright, let's get into it. So Funko Fusion is being developed by a brand new studio called Tintin Games, but most of the developers working there aren't exactly brand new. The founder of TT Games, who are of course the creators of all your favorite LEGO games, John Burton, left TT Games a few years ago and started this new studio in 2021. Many of the longtime employees of TT Games followed him there too, including Arthur Parsons, who you might remember as the guy who did all of those E3 presentations for the LEGO games. So a big chunk of the OG LEGO game developers are going to be here at 1010 Games now. Then on October 20th, 2022, these classic LEGO game developers announced that they are building Funko Fusion, a game centered all around the popular Funko Pop figures, to release in 2023. Yeah, that didn't happen. But anyway, we haven't seen much gameplay yet, but it's likely that this game will play somewhat like the LEGO games, but obviously with some distinct differences. A big difference that they've gone over so far is that the game is targeted for a T for Teen rating by the ESRB, not the typical E or E10 plus rating that the LEGO games receive. So Funko Fusion seems to be targeting maybe a slightly older audience. A main reason for this age rating increase is likely because the game will feature levels and characters from R rated or at the very least more mature movie franchises from NBC Universal. These include Jurassic World, Back to the Future, Umbrella Academy, John Carpenter's The Thing, Child's Play, and Masters of the Universe. And according to Arthur Parsons, there's a lot more that they haven't announced yet. They confirmed that the game will not be restricted to only NBC Universal properties, so we'll have to wait and see what those other properties are. So obviously stuff like John Carpenter's The Thing and Child's Play would never appear in a LEGO game, so it's cool that going with Funko is allowing them to branch out beyond the age restrictions of LEGO. As for the cutscenes in the game, it appears that this game will be in a similar style to the pre-2012 LEGO games, back when there was no voice acting. Funko Pops don't exactly have mouths, so it's looking like the humor will be similar to how it was in those old LEGO games, which uh, personally I'm really excited to see return. Uh, in fact, Arthur Parsons even mentioned in an interview how the proportions of a Funko Pop figure allow for some funny comedy moments with their super large heads and everything. It should make for some great humor bits. Another big difference between the LEGO games and this is that Funko Fusion will support 4 player online co-op. It was always super rare for a LEGO game to have online play, so seeing not just 2 but 4 player online co-op being supported by this game is a huge win. However, it's currently unclear if this game will support any sort of split screen or local co-op, so it's possible that we could have the opposite issue here where uh, we only have online and no local, but uh, let's hope that we get both. Graphically and technically, Funko Fusion is being developed in Unreal Engine 5, so it's going to be using all the latest and greatest technology. In fact, this game is only coming to the current gen consoles, so, you know, Xbox One and PS4 are being left behind. So essentially, we know Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and PC are confirmed, but it's a little unclear where the Nintendo Switch kind of fits into all of this, uh, but maybe it could even come to the rumored next-gen Nintendo console later this year if the Switch can't handle the game. Gameplay-wise, we've only seen about two seconds in the most recent trailer, but it seems to be using the same exact third-person aiming mechanics as LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. So it seems the developers that left TT Games and went to 1010 Games maybe are using some of the same code to develop this game. I'm not sure, but if you look at that little clip that we got, the aiming looks identical to Skywalker Saga, uh, which is kind of interesting. Now, the last time we got any formal information about this game was April 25th, 2023, so over nine months ago from the time of this video releasing, in that April press release, they said the game is expected to release in early 2024. Well, now it's obviously early 2024 and we still don't have any more details, but there is hope. Over the past month or two, the Funko Fusion X account, formerly known as Twitter, has become very active. Uh, for example, they will reply with GIFs to the official Jurassic World account or to the Masters of the Universe account or to Back to the Future posts and stuff like that. So. They definitely seem to be starting up some marketing for this game. Personally, I think it would be really cool as kind of a tease for us fans that are really paying attention to their X account if they would start responding to franchise accounts on X that haven't been confirmed to be in the game yet. Um, but unfortunately, they only seem to be kind of responding to the stuff that has been confirmed, you know, your Jurassic Worlds, your Masters of the Universe, etc. 
And then even more recently, their X or Twitter account in the past week or so got verified with the blue check mark too. So something is definitely brewing. They definitely want their tweets to get more out there for marketing. Uh, so something is coming soon. Personally, I think we could get a new trailer any day or week now. Uh, we still haven't seen any significant gameplay, and we obviously need that solid release date. Now, at this point, uh, the early 2024 release seems kind of unlikely. I think the earliest it could come out would probably be like April or May. Um, but uh, we'll have to just wait and see how much it gets delayed from that early 2024 release. Uh, maybe the game could even come out late this year, and that way it could kind of come out around the same time as Nintendo's rumored next-gen console. But who knows? So with that guys, that is pretty much everything we know about Funko Fusion coming from 1010 Games. So hopefully you guys are all up to speed now, uh, and hopefully we'll get some more official information uh, very, very soon. Definitely seems that way. So yeah, let me know what you think about this game. Are you excited for it? Are you going to be checking it out? You know, I've never been a fan of Funko Pops or anything like that, but just kind of the talent that's behind this game with it being all of the kind of original people from the classic LEGO games over there at TT Games. Uh, that definitely has me excited, and from the little bit of just the gameplay and cutscenes, uh, it looks pretty good, and it's really cool that we're getting kind of some more mature franchises that we haven't seen in LEGO. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this game. Like this video if you learned something new. Dislike it if not, and let me know why. And uh, comment all your thoughts. Subscribe for more content like this. We're going to be covering Funko Fusion very heavily on this channel, uh, so stay tuned. So with all that, I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.